mankind first landed on the moon, July 16th, 1969. Come on, the good stuff's this way. Can you believe they traveled all that way in this? <gasps> Did you hear that? about a phantom hound attack on the moon. All that remains of the three teenagers are their shredded spacesuits, surrounded by huge hound-like tracks. There have been sightings of this phantom hound for weeks now. It's just like all the old legends. Hounds on the moon? Watson, you've been watching too much of the tabloid network. Missing are Troy Winslow IV, only son of British shipping magnate John Winslow, Benjamin Jessup, son of the American shoe manufacturer, and Kelsey James of Tucson. Sadly, this is not the first time James has been in the spotlight her parents were among the dead in the aftermath of last year's tragic Shuttle 10,000 crash. Great! We just get over the biggest crime wave in New London's history, and now the Chief's sending us to the moon in search of non-existent hounds and runaway teenagers. Where's Holmes when we need him? Incoming transmission. Lestrade, something urgent has come up. I shall be back in touch in a few days. Holmes! Wait! I'm his supervising officer. I'm supposed to tell him when and where he can go. Ugh! I wouldn't worry about Holmes. I have a strong suspicion he's already on his way. He never could resist a good mystery. Good gracious, it is the Hound! Impossible! Please, officer, that's my son! The guards panicked! If he fires that ionizer, he'll shatter the dome! No one will survive the decompression! Come on! Give me a boost! Don't fire! That's an order! No problem. Here. Hmm. Wait! No! If you crack the dome, you'll finish us all! Inspector Lestrade, New Scotland Yard. I'll get you out of here. Computer, turn off the public address system. The PA system is currently offline. Hmm, then how are we hearing that confounded hound? The moon is a complete vacuum. We shouldn't therefore be hearing anything. No air, no sound waves. Computer, is that another broadcast system online? Emergency broadcast system is online. Hmm. Display a blueprint of the resort showing communication satellite feeds and hookups. Are any satellites currently transmitting into the resort? And if so, for how long? JR-702 has been transmitting a signal into Luna Satellite Dish 9B2 for 13 minutes, 3 seconds. Transmitting directly into the emergency broadcast system. I suspect... Could it be? Question does not compute. Indeed it does. Disconnect from transmission. <laughs> But it's still there. Weird. I want a closer look at that thing. Stop shooting! It's Holmes! I knew he'd be here! Go back inside and resume crowd control duties. Ah, Lestrade! Watson, you're just in time. 
this hound is a very sophisticated piece of work. Oh, watch it! It's a harmless illusion. Observe, it leaves no footprints. I'll wager I can walk right through. Home! Oh, oh pity. And I was just making some real progress. Oh well, there's plenty more evidence to be examined. Holmes, wait. You're under my supervision here. Where are you going? To the site of the attack, of course. Coming. I don't get it. Why would the Hound leave footprints here, but not back at the resort? Eyes and brains, Lestrade. There are obviously two Hounds. This one and the holographic one. But what about the old lunar legends? Why, even the workers who built the mining complex claim to have seen a phantom hound? No, oh, drivel and poppycock, Watson. A trick of light, an over-eager imagination, a publicity stunt. Use your eyes, man. This hound is definitely a tangible, three-dimensional creature. But interestingly, its footprints are all identical. Meaning? It's non-organic. The prints of living creatures have continual variety. But what does all this have to do with those missing kids? Excellent question. One thing is certain, someone has gone to great lengths to make this hound credible. And used your lunar hound legends to very good effect. To what end? Scare people witless? The tourists are leaving in droves. Presumably that was the desired goal. I must see those shredded spacesuits straight away. What a tragedy. How awful. I know the suits are costly, but I wouldn't call their loss a tragedy. I meant the kids, Holmes. But they weren't in these suits when they were smashed and shredded. If they had been, the sudden decompression would have exploded the faceplate out, not in, taking the person inside with it, creating a very nasty mess indeed, I might add. So these shredded spacesuits were left behind? To throw us off! Meaning this was just a simple kidnapping with some weird window dressing. Oh my. Don't jump to conclusions, Lestrade. It's far from simple. We must examine all the facts to determine the motive. Computer, I want to see everything on Troy Winslow, Kelsey James, and Benjamin Jessup. We have three missing teenagers. Including two of the richest kids in the world. There's your motive. Then where is your ransom demand? It'll come. Don't worry. I think not. Computer, what do you have on Kelsey James? Ah, the James girl. Regrettable losing her parents so young. And left with very little to live on. We know, Holmes. We read her bio on the shuttle. Then you must have wondered how she got to Galileo City. It is an expensive trip. I checked it out. She won the Lucky Lunar Getaway hmm. Contest. What are the odds of winning such a contest? Million to one? I don't follow, old boy. What is your point? Do me a favor, Watson. Scan the internet. Find out everything you can about that contest. Scanning now. Waste of time, Holmes. It's not the girl our kidnapper is after. The girl is only 15. Did she bring a chaperone? Why, oh, I don't know. Curious. The contest seems legitimate enough, but the company that sponsored it was created just two weeks ago in New London. When I tried to get bios on the corporate officers, the names turned out to be fictitious. Wait, you think this whole contest was staged just to get this girl to the moon? Ridiculous! Why? Again, Lestrade. Excellent question. The computer, what is the room number of Kelsey James? Kelsey James is not registered at the hotel. Then where is she staying? With one of the employees, perhaps. Computer, show me the funeral photo. Magnify crowd members. Ah, here's our man, Jim Garrett. According to this news clipping, he's Kelsey James' uncle the systems manager for the entire lunar complex. Good heavens, man! How on earth did you deduce that? Elementary, Watson. I ran into him not an hour ago. He was wearing an identity badge. He seemed highly agitated and was carrying what appeared to be a book of security codes. Emergency. Total systems failure in 30 minutes. Evacuate immediately. This is Garrett's doing, isn't it? We must get to the lunar power plant as quickly as possible. Watson, get us a view. Impossible. The whole complex is locked down. I know where we can borrow one. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's on the override frequency. It's on the hologram, right? 
right? I'm getting readings for titanium alloy, steel, magnesium, trilithium plastic. Time to take evasive action. Holmes, I wondered when you and Lestrade would arrive. Moriarty? But we saw his body. How can he... When you eliminate the impossible, what remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. It's not the man himself, Lestrade, but a clone. As evil as the original, I'm afraid. Complete with his memories intact. Isn't technology wonderful? So nice to see you, Holmes, after all these centuries. Amazing that your wits are still with you. Garrett gave you the security codes. He and the kids are of no importance to you now. Why not release them? Oh, no. They may still be of some use. Bribing wouldn't work on Garrett, would it? So you concocted the lucky lunar getaway to get to him through his niece. Clever, wasn't I? Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Lestrade. <laughs> Inspector Lestrade to you, clonehead. <gasps> Once you had the codes, you could control the entire lunar colony. Today, the moon. In less than five minutes, the world. I've reprogrammed the lunar defense network to unload its firepower on Earth's major communications facilities. Once Galileo City is vacated, <laughs> it will become my base of operation from which I shall rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> It's your little lab rat, Martin Fenwick. He may know something about cloning, but not about sneaking up on people. You're under arrest. Exhaust <gasps> ah! turbine three activating. How quickly the tables turn. What's that sound? The exhaust turbine. <laughs> Get 
Garrett and the kids out of there. And so it begins. Again. Hang on, guys. I'm on my way. Galileo City are back online. <laughs> Great. But you have some explaining to do. Indeed. How did you know about the cloning? Elementary, my dear Watson. When I examined Moriarty's body at Reichenbach Falls, I noticed a microscopic drill hole in the ice down to the surface of Moriarty's hand. It suggested to me that someone had taken samples of his DNA. Then, when this man kept popping up everywhere... Of course! Dr. Martin Fenwick, notoriously unethical genetic engineer, repeatedly arrested for his unlawful cloning experiments. Fenwick hoped Moriarty would become his brilliant slave. But slave turned on master. Precisely. Then, when all the technical equipment went missing... Moriarty had a plan. First the moon, then complete domination of the Earth itself. Too bad he got away. Ah, but he didn't. I attached a computer override device to the bottom of his shuttle. He should be arriving at the new Scotland Yard shuttle port in about two hours, Inspector Lestrade. Inspector Lestrade? You are my supervising officer, aren't you? Huh. Huh. This whole thing might work out after all, Watson. Chief Inspector Grayson, New Scotland Yard. Open the hatch and surrender. <gasps> Parachute is missing. Ship's log. Life pods jettisoned during re-entry. Find him! Find him! Find him! 